What is it that is so special about our planet? It is life. And we have a lot of it. But have you ever thought of the infinite number of possibilities for life to exist in the cosmos? Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is home to almost 100 billion stars alone. And if we assume around one planet per star, then the total comes out to be a mind-baffling 100 billion planets. And this is only just one galaxy. When we begin to consider other galaxies in our cosmic account, this number grows exponentially. So, it is not incomprehensible to believe that we humans are not the only living entities in the universe. Thanks to the decades of hard effort put in by scientists, we can now utilize these superior and extremely advanced technical instruments to quest for life in the universe. A latest series of mysterious radio signals emerging from the outer space has left even the most seasoned NASA experts stunned. What are these unusual radio signals, and what do they mean? Are they the result of intelligent extraterrestrial aliens attempting to communicate with us? Should we humans accept this handshake by sending a loud hi in response to their message? Let us answer all of these questions in this video. Humans have been exploring space for several centuries. The first planet ever discovered through a telescope was Uranus. It was discovered by Sir William Herschel in 1781, who was probably the most famous astronomer of the 18th century. Since then, we have been trying to establish contact with the interstellar beings. In 1974, humans sent their first interstellar radio signal, also known as the Arecibo message. Designed by the master Carl Sagan himself, the message carried basic information about humanity and Earth. The message was coded and then aimed at the globular star cluster M13. The scientists picked this location because of its huge size and the close proximity of the stars that were visible in the sky at the time. Although this interstellar communication was more of a show of human technological prowess than a real attempt to communicate with extraterrestrials, it served as a showcase of human technological progress. Due to its relatively far distance, Humans can expect a reply in about 50,000 years, assuming that the message travels through the cosmos at the speed of light both ways. Currently, despite repeated and consistent failures, mankind has never lost hope and still remains firmly committed to getting closer and closer towards their goal of first contact. While you are enjoying the serenity of the universe, scientists at telescopic observatories are devoting all of their efforts to finding even the faintest radio signal. Radio emissions are one of the most frequent since they can be found almost anywhere. Planets and stars, as well as unusual things such as pulsars and black holes, galaxies are all examples. Human technology is also a source of radio emissions. Yeah, that's right. Even the device you're using to watch this video is emitting thousands of waves at any given moment. As a result, radio waves are emitted from an infinite number of sources at any given time. Radio waves are a part of the electromagnetic spectrum and are fairly well known for their very long wavelengths. Despite the numerous possible sources, astronomers have discovered unusual and strange radio wave signals that have never been seen before. The radio waves do not fit any known patterns of variable radio emitters, yet they are coming from the direction of our Milky Way galaxy's core. The ASCAP radio telescope was used to make the finding. What exactly is ASCAP? It stands for Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder and is a next-generation radio telescope with cutting-edge ICT systems and revolutionary reception technology. It consists of 36 antennas, each measuring 12 meters in diameter, that act as a single device. When ASCAP is finished, it will be capable of high dynamic wide field imaging utilizing sophisticated phased array feeds which will provide radio astronomy with a whole additional infrastructure. The architecture of ASCAP is unusual among radio telescopes, since its antennas move in three directions and will detect and magnify radio waves using phased array feeds or radio cameras, rather than single pixel feeds. Because of these characteristics, the telescope will be able to examine enormous portions of the sky at unparalleled sensitivity and speed. So this telescope is definitely at the heart of this discovery. But, 
Why did the scientists think this radio wave was distinct from anything else they'd heard? They indicated that it had very strong polarization. This implies that its light not only oscillates in one direction, but it also rotates over time. Apart from that, the object's brightness changes by a factor of 100, and a signal appears to flip on and off at random, unlike anything the scientists had ever seen before. Initially, astronomers speculated that it may be a pulsar or a sort of star that produces massive solar flares. However, the signals emitted by this new source do not match those emitted by these celestial objects. As research on the radio wave continues, the source of the signals has been identified as ASCAP-J117360.823216-5. Even if the source of the emission perplexed the experts, discovering it was nothing short of miraculous. During a nine-month period in 2020, the scientists discovered six signals. However, using the optical telescopes, the scientists were unable to locate the source in visible light. In Australia, the park's radio telescope similarly came up empty. The Australia Telescope National Facility is made up of four instruments, one of which is located close outside the town of Parks in central West New South Wales. Parks is one of the biggest single-dish telescopes dedicated to astronomy in the Southern Hemisphere. With a diameter of 64 meters, it was first used in 1961. And since then, the surface, control system, focus chamber, receivers, computers, and cabling have all been modified to keep the telescope at the forefront of radio astronomy. The telescope is 10,000 times more sensitive now than it was when it was initially built. Unfortunately, it was unable to determine the origin of the radio signal. Luckily, South Africa has the Meerkat Radio Telescope, a network of 64 interconnected sensors. A receptor is an entire antenna construction, including the primary reflector and subreflector, as well as all receivers, digitizers, and other electronics. Astronomers subsequently attempted to use the Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa, which is much more sensitive. Because the signal was inconsistent, they checked it every few weeks for 15 minutes in the hopes of seeing it again. Surprisingly, the signal reappeared, but they noticed that the source's behavior was drastically different from the one they had previously detected. Also, even though the source had persisted for weeks in our earlier ASCAP observations, it vanished in a single day. The data we do have has some resemblance to another unexplained phenomena, known as Galactic Center Radio Transients or GCRTs, commonly known as the Cosmic Purper. According to some scientists, this seems to be it. While our new object, ASCAP J173608.232163-5, has certain qualities with GCRTs, it also has its own set of characteristics. And, since astronomers don't fully understand those origins in the first place, this only adds to the enigma. The scientists want to keep a careful check on the item in the hopes of uncovering further information about what it is. The Transcontinental Square Kilometer Array or SKA radio telescope is expected to be operational within the next decade. Every day it will be able to generate sensitive maps of the sky. This project is a collaborative multinational effort to construct the world's biggest radio telescope with a collecting area of over a square kilometer, or one million square meters. With the comprehensive design and preparation already well underway, the SKA marks a major leap forward in both engineering, research and development towards producing and delivering a unique instrument. The SKA will bring together a multitude of the world's best scientists, engineers, and policymakers to bring the project to fulfillment as one of the biggest scientific undertakings in history. Thousands of dishes and up to a million low-frequency antennas will ultimately be used in the SKA, allowing astronomers to watch the sky in unprecedented detail and sweep the whole sky far quicker than any other system now in use. The SKA unique design will provide an unprecedented scope and observations, well beyond the Hubble Space Telescope's picture resolution quality. SKA will also be able to photograph large portions of the sky in parallel, a feat that no survey telescope has ever accomplished with this degree of sensitivity on this scale. The SKA will beautifully complement and lead the way in scientific discoveries when a number of other huge telescopes in the optical and infrared are developed and deployed into space during the following decades. Astronomers hope that the telescope's capability will help us answer riddles like this recent finding as well as open up large new swaths of the cosmos to radio investigation. Then, maybe we'll figure out what's causing this strange radio signal. What are your thoughts about it? What is the source of this strange radio signal, in your opinion? 
Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope you really liked it. Consider subscribing to the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.